Welcome, my friends. <laughs> you know, I really love the sound of bells, and I collect bells, and, and it's very interesting. I also collect spoons. I collect wooden spoons. And there's something about these elements that means so much to me. You know, those wooden spoons that you grew up with in your home or household. There's something about these wooden spoons that really soak in the reality of the family. And there's something about these different bells. Every single bell is so different. And every time you ring the, a bell, even the same bell, you can never come up with the same sound twice. And so it's very interesting for me to listen to the musicality of life, understanding that musicality, the harmony of life, and really recognizing that on some level, that harmony is what it's all about. Finding harmony, finding harmony with what is. It really seems almost impossible, you know, in looking at the human world. How can harmony and humanity go together? And yet, I think it's really important for us to not forget that we are part of nature. We are part of the harmony of nature. Even when we say the word universe, universe, the one song, we're talking about music. And so we want to see and feel that harmony and how we can make that harmonic become more present and more fully involved with our own lives. I mean, it's really vitally important. How do you make your life more, harmonic, more harmonious? How do you do it? What do you do to make your life more harmonious? To me, one of the things that we can do is take advice from musicians and even actors. Both of those have some way of finding a harmony in their environment. When music is played, the great musician Miles Davis said that the key to music is the space in between the notes. So the key to music is actually on some level silence. And I want to suggest that to, that's the key for us as well. If we want to find harmony in our environment, we have to come from silence first, not from what we want to express first. We have to come from listening first and be behind the beat so that we can find that intuition that expresses us better than we could express ourselves. So again, what are you doing to find harmony in this time? How can you find harmony with your life? Please let us know. We're all looking for you to lead us. Please let us know and let other people know about this circle because we want to grow this circle so that we have more people who are focused on harmony rather than conflict. I'm going to ring the bell. I'm going to ask you to listen carefully. Here we go. We have to find a way to be in harmony even when there's discord. I bring my hands together and I bow to you. And I thank you. Namaste. Have a wonderful day.